Welcome back to my travel day. I'm off to Vietnam. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I uh, was in last in Vietnam, I think it was 2015, and it was great. I really enjoyed it. So let's see how it goes this time. Now the hotel, I obviously did the, the vlog on this when I arrived and I reviewed it. The Vissal Sack. Again, it was recommended by Gordon Murray. Uh, Gordon Murray. Uh, Graham. Graham Murray. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead of the camera all the time on me. Yeah, it was uh, recommended by Graham. It's a really, really good place. Uh, the breakfast in there, amazing. Uh, I've just been talking to a guy called Gordon, so that's what made me think of it. And he just bought me my breakfast as well. Thank you very much, Gordon. I hope we, I hope we cross paths again, like I just said. And let's see how the travel goes. Now I paid the hotel $11 for the journey. So I'm getting picked up at the hotel and then they're taking me to the border and then I'm getting picked up on the other side of the border and I'm getting taken into Hatien. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's been really, really good, the salsa. Now, you, if you want to go into Kep, you will need a motorbike or you'll need to get um, tuk-tuks. But you can rent a motorbike from this old sack for five dollars i also documented that when i come and there's a shop right outside that sells everything you need so yeah it's been really good really enjoyed it and kept it is an amazing place it really is it's it's been really nice because you've been next to the seaside i mean the sea is just on the other side of that wall say so 200 meters and then it's we have that nice island feel to it although i have documented about the rubbish that's all over cambodia i know i won't say anything more about that but it's been great it's been great other than kep i think you all know if you're watching my vlogs all the time where my favorite place has been in cambodia and that was in kampot kampot was amazing what an amazing city it is So yeah, I'm supposed to be getting picked up in half an hour. Let's see how it goes. The dog's <laughs> loving the camera as always. <laughs> no, that one was going to camp up. I thought half an hour early. Now the journey here, like I said, it was $11. It's like £9. It's about half an hour, uh, 30 kilometres to the border. And then I think it's about 6 kilometres on the other side. So for nine pound eleven dollars not the cheapest travel in cambodia you know that's the only way you can get it because you've got very few options you can get a tuk-tuk i think that's about thirteen dollars just to the border so yeah it's uh this is the lesser of the evils i can just get straight to hattie and no messing about i, I was going to walk i was going to just get a uh, bus to the bus to the border and then walk for six kilometers see what's like on the other side but for an extra three dollars Two quid, two fifty. It makes it's a no-brainer, really. I may as well just get it done. And I've got my hotel already. When I book, when I get into Hatian, uh, I got a little bit behind. The, the Wi-Fi is okay at Vissal Sack, but it can be a bit in and out. You get power cuts when you're uploading. It's not good when you get. But if, if you just come here for general use, the Wi-Fi, because I need a very, very strong one, then it's great. It's not a problem. There's a Western lady just walked past. Totally, totally ignored me. <laughs> uh, but there's a dog just lied on the path. And she walked that far around the dog, she nearly got hit by a motorbike. <laughs> What's the lesser of the evils? No, I said I wouldn't say nothing about it, nothing else about this, but this is just a typical example. I, I've, I've just got to show you this. This guy uh, is just too straw and some of the wrappers on the floor there's the bin see what I mean by it being a habit oh I thought that must have been my bus there it's just coming to 11 o'clock now I'll do the right thing for him and put them in the bin
put that sign say yesterday in the national park be a be a trash hero but at least this has given me a bit of time to learn a bit of uh, the pleasantries in vietnam i haven't quite nailed them yet xin chào i don't think i'll ever will nail them by the way <laughs> xin chào is hello come on come on just thank you and tam biet tam biet goodbye I'm getting there already. See, that's what I'm talking about. A nice British guy, English guy there, going by in a push iron. He gave me the nicest smile and said good morning. Is it nice to be nice? It's now five past 11. <laughs> the English guy come back to talk to me and he's my bus. Only 10 minutes late. Pretty much the same as all the ones in here about travelled in big transit. Bye bye for all. Maybe come back and cap again. I will definitely come back to this hotel. Lovely people, lovely staff. That was a pleasant journey. Can put transports. Road is alright. I even fell asleep on the bus. Half an hour. <laughs> That looks like the border. A couple of people got dropped off in cap, and then there's just me and this uh, Aussie guy. Aussie guy. I never got his name because he doesn't hear very well, so I don't want to keep bothering him. Hattie in Vegas, and this is a uh, Prick Chark border. I won't be able to document inside because you're not allowed cameras. I'll see you on the other side. There's another casino. So you just go through that gate, come round to your left. There's the check passport. Well, that was simple enough. Ten minutes to go through. Although I don't know where we're going now. We're assuming it's this building here. Nothing telling us. No, nope, wasn't that building. Looks like we've got to walk down here. Down no man's land. See you later, Cambodia. Whatever that says. Ngok Kong Hoa Za Hoi Cha. <laughs> And yeah, Vietnam uh, absolutely murdered that. And we're in, half an hour later. Oh no. Now I'm in. <laughs> I got told to put the camera away. Uh, yeah, it, was, it took about half an hour. Then you got the health check for one dollar, which uh, is just a scam. One dollar. I can live with that. And this is our bus over here, the red and white one. Welcome to Vietnam! Get on the other side of the border, come to this cafe, and transport guys, that's some red and white bus over there. It's very, very hot today, very hot. When I stand on that tiles, my feet stick to it, my trainers. Very hot there. I think it's only about a 10 minute ride in Hattie N. 45 days, three, free visa. Very nice. So yeah, my plan is go to Hattie N. Maybe just go to Pudok, the island. I'll see you when I get to Hattie N. But no plans yet. Got a lot of work to catch up on when I get to Hattie N. That's why I booked the hotel. It's got really good Wi-Fi. Uh, the Aussie guy, he's going to straight to the island and then he's flying from there to Ho Chi Minh we've got to go to the island to get the plane it's unusual limousine limousine Hang Thong VIP I'm by myself nice
it's always advisable when you get to the border when you get stamped in to just check it make sure you've got the right dates and everything you don't want a problem when you're going up the other side I don't know what these are I'm sure a few of my viewers will know hit me up on the comments let me know something drying out no, I just got dropped off in the centre he was asking all the questions where are you going Ho Chi Minh do you want to go to an island just to try and make an extra few quid you know I said I'll oh, just drop me off in the centre and then I'll look for a sim card and make me wait to the hotel this is the first look of Vietnam the centre of Hattien looking forward to a band me I think this looks like a phone shop straight over the road oh, I'm having a bit of a nightmare here can't find nowhere that'll change UK pounds same as bloody Cambodia and my bank cards are not working here for some reason both of them oh man welcome to Vietnam oh she the lady in the bank is pointing me down here somewhere we get cash exchange I think this is a gold shop these are usually good for it in Phnom Penh No, not in there either. There's a couple of banks here. Nama Bank and Sakon Bank. I've tried my card twice, both of them. Uh, I don't want to use them again, because then they'll swallow it. And that'll be a nightmare. Starting to get very frustrated. They've told me to go to this other bank. And this other bank are going to tell me that they only take dollars as well. And, uh, if that's the case, I'm just going to go up the auto first. Need a bit of time, I'll see if I can contact my bank. Oh, what a nightmare. God, why do they make things so hard? Why would you not change UK pounds? One of the biggest currencies in the world. Sakon Bank. Want to keep half my cash to exchange it. What? Are you joking me? So yeah, it's uh where it's supposed to be five point, I try to change up to 180 pounds so I'm supposed to get about 5.7 million done they want to give me 2.75 so yeah, that, what, it, what it changed out to be on my exchange app is 90 pounds I'm changing up so they want to keep half of my cash just to change it up what? what sort of a deal is that? off to the hotel it is see if I can contact my bank the woman in the phone shop hasn't even been paid she said just come back when you get some done can't get any they don't take cards big shop like that like that was a proper place you know that does uh, like postal service sim cards all that but yeah you can't even do it you can't even get it so I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> get to the hotel see if I can uh, contact the bank see why I can't use the bank machine Tired and I wanna go home. Tired and I wanna go to bed. <laughs> I've actually got three cards. I've just tried the third one. It won't work either. So and I can't walk across that bridge. I've got to get across the bridge. Forty minutes. Can't get across it. So I just don't know what to do. Right. My issue here now is <laughs> I've got to get across that bridge to get to my hotel. Now there's no other way, you, there's no foot, or no footbridge, there's no, like, no footpath or anything. I've just asked that girl there, uh, if I could walk across, she said no. I said, how do I get across? She said, get a taxi. But then I've got no dong to pay the taxi. <laughs> See, always trouble the smile on your face. What can you do? If this continues, Vietnam, I will be straight on a plane and straight to Thailand because I can't be asked for this anymore I can't be chewed with the hassle if I can't get cash I can't spend money in your country ok I'm walking across now what I can do well if I'm going to get hit I want to see it coming so I'm walking on this side I'm getting the craziest looks ever like what is he doing on this bridge Oh, there's somebody else walking. There you go. Looks beautiful, man. Hattien. Pretty mountainous. 
on this side and nothing on that side that must be the island over there I don't want to point too, point too far but on the right side that looks like the ferry port that'll be one that goes to the island I assume Ten minutes to go and I am sweating buckets if this hotel that I booked doesn't take card I am goosed this has now turned into proper travel there too beware foreign travellers carrying cash because Vietnam and Cambodia will only exchange US dollars that's it it's an absolute joke it really is ridiculous so if you come arrive in these countries do not come with cash unless you want to get an extortionate rate and lose 50% of your money it's insane and Scottish travellers they won't take it at all they won't entertain the Scottish pound at all Hi, it's the next morning I'm at Hatien obviously where I finished up last night I'm going to do a room review this is where I finished up and this is where I stayed last night I'll wait until the morning so you can see what's like the next day now at the front it's quite busy with the cars but you don't really hear that in the room so don't think about that it's really good and this is where I'm staying fun for time I'll put the position in the Google Maps so you know where it is that's no problem I know that for security you've got everything you need beers, food everything you need I rent you rent you a scooter uh, for five pounds a day they do laundry there's man all uh, man all hung up and uh, I only give them that this morning within an hour it's all lit up this is where they cook you the food and do your washing there as well I'll wait till the end because the best is out the back yeah, just take me flippers off Get some lights on the go. The kitchen lights, the bathroom lights are on there. Now you've got a fan up the top there, air conditioning. The Wi Fi is really, really good. I, I keep saying this all the time, but Wi Fi saves me a lot of time. I'll tell you that when we go the back. The shower. It's not overly hot, but it's just what you need. It's everything what you need. It, it wasn't overly cold. It was all right. You've got a uh, sink, toilet, bum gun's good. The my computer, my laptop's just working away there. The bed's an Asian bed, but it keeps your back right. If your bed's too soft, then your back's twisted. So yeah, I slept well last night. Table, chairs, it's very, very clean, very clean. Both Tree, that's the guy who owns the place, and his wife both speak very, very good English. So you've got absolutely no problems about the communication. And also, he's given me a few places to go and visit today for today's vlog. So that's took a, a lot of hassle off me having to research everywhere where I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few sites and then go for a walk through the city. But that'll be on tomorrow's vlog, obviously, because this is the next morning. This is yesterday's the end of yesterday's i thought i'd just stay the night there's a little lizard there oh he's gone down the hole never caught him quick enough there's only four rooms and, uh, so that, that's really good for the wi-fi as well because you haven't got a load of people using it but the reason i say about the wi-fi is this can make a difference between me having to work behind the laptop for one or two hours a day up to six or seven hours a day so i can get out for a nice little walk in the morning You've got a table and chairs, that's why I had my breakfast this morning, or about 10 minutes ago. Hammocks, you can chill out, I was laid in there last night just listening to the waves crashing against the rocks. It was really, really relaxing. And then you've got this out the back, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, me having, me having to work here, having to upload and it can take like I say, six or seven hours behind the computer if I haven't got good Wi-Fi. If I have got good Wi-Fi like today, this morning it took me about two hours 
and then I've been able to go for a nice walk all the way down for about an hour which is just really beautiful it is so relaxing so yeah it's taken a lot a lot of weight off my mind having a good wi-fi that's why it's imperative for me the breakfast I got um, you can get if you, as long as you tell them the day before you can get fried rice or whatever you need whatever you want I just got a, a couple of eggs on bread uh, on toast and you get cucumber and tomatoes and it cost about uh, I think it cost about 50p you know 15,000 dong but I'll, I'll put the cash conversion in the in the description as always all my vlogs have a cash conversion in them but yeah this has been really really good I'll be, I'm, I'm staying here for two nights and I'm moving up to the island I think it's Poocock, Poodock, something like that <laughs> you'll find out later today but yeah brilliant brilliant place to stay and the price was £10 a night uh, if you get it that's like uh, 300,000 dong I know 300,000 oh another thing uh, if you get it monthly it's £9 a night so that's every, everything included your electric the aircon um, everything apart from your food obviously uh, what was I just going to say there lost track oh yeah I was having an absolute nightmare last night well, yesterday you seen it about changing money I come here and he sorted all that right out for me he, 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 he's, he's changed it he knows people and he's changed a couple of hundred pound out from, up for me so that took all my worries away while I'm here or rather than for the next week or two so I can get things sorted out get my bank sorted out who aren't replying by the way Halifax get it sorted out <laughs> I know you're watching <laughs> yeah it's a great place to stay it is really if you're in Hatien I can't recommend this place enough fast Wi-Fi the people are lovely the room's great very clean what more do you want and then it's about 10 minute walk to the ferry port which is about a bit further down 10 15 minutes when Tree, the guy who owns the place, he said he's just going to give me a lift down in the morning, uh, tomorrow morning. So, brilliant. I can't recommend these guys enough. So, if you are in Hatien, please hit them up. Let you say the location will be in the description. And thanks for watching, as always. And please join me again for the trip through Hatien today. See some of the sights, see what the city's like, get some food, get some prices, and have a good day. So, so relaxing.